while. I was in the air. I think we all were. I didn't get to see it. Um, but I heard a guy who's a couple of years older than me who is a neighbor of mine played extremely well. Um, speaking of that fountain of youth, so um, he can do it up. I'm, I'm drinking whatever he's drinking. <laughs> What's your relationship like with, with Grant? Uh, I've known Grant for a very long time. I mean, I go back to being recruited at Duke and we were walking around and some people, some of the guys, I mean, they knew of me, but they thought we were brothers. He thought I was his younger brother, you know, <laughs> not that we look alike or anything, but um, but I've known him. We live in the same neighborhood now, and so I used to see him in the off season, and he's been a great friend uh, for a very long time. So, you know, we, we've talked, we, even when he was in Orlando, uh, you know, I've always had, had the dream to get an opportunity to play at home. So, you know, hey, Grant, man, hey, put the word in. So we've all been trying to kind of connect and play the, uh, on the same team. So it's a great opportunity. And like I said, I'm drinking whatever he's drinking. <laughs> Thanks, any thoughts of playing the Western Conference? Uh, yeah, this is the first time, so it, it, it's going to be a, a battle each and every night, it's particularly at the, at the wing position. We know that. Um, you know, a lot of teams are playing great, and we want to be in the mix. And, and that's what it's all about is winning, and winning by any means. Um, you know, we're trying to bring our, our defensive background and, and the mentality that we've come from here and just add to, to the fuel that's already here. And hopefully, sooner or later, you'll see us right at the top. Marcin, I know you played a little bit with Dwight at the same time on the floor. I know Lopez is also big, kind of similar a little bit. Do you think that you could play, run with him? Uh, well, that's coaching decision, obviously. Um, I believe we can fit, you know, uh, in this team together, playing together at the same time. Um, I, I, obviously, we gotta first we gotta you know try to do this in, in you know at a practice and, and, and see how it's gonna, how it's gonna go. I can tell you that I'm gonna come up with something new. I'm gonna start shooting trees. That's that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so don't expect me to do that. But you know, I mean, I can play four. Just bring you know a little bit different game than than usual four men. I'll give you a compliment. I'm gonna give him a compliment. I think uh, one thing that I've seen about Marsh, he worked very hard in the off season. Um, you know, and just seeing him, be, I think he's he earned the. the Opportunity to play the four because he runs the floor, he rebounds, and he's a very good defensive player. I don't want to get to your head. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I think you know you, you asking that question, and it, that's the first thing that comes to mind is that he runs the floor extremely well, and that's why I say I think he's a great fit as well in this type of offense that's wide open with his ability to get up and down and get easy baskets for us, as if we don't get him in, the, in, the, in the half court already. But you know that I think that would be a strength with you know a Bob or any other big. And especially that, you know, playing against teams like Dallas where you got Dirk and four, you know, I'll, I'll, really excited, I'll be really excited to guard that guy. You know, I think it will be a big challenge for me. And, and obviously teams like Lakers where you got two big men, you know, you, you need to bring uh, two, two big guys in the team. You know, two big, you, you, you need to have two guys at the same time on the floor who's going to, you know, protect the basket. So if coach will decide to play like that, I'm ready. You can see the excitement from all three of you that you're now going to play with the Phoenix Suns. And like Bruce said, you're coming from a um, championship caliber team, yet at the same time the Suns went to the Western Conference Finals. What is the most exciting thing that you guys find in coming to the Suns and this you can't say Steve Nash? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a mentality. You know, that's what is expected. And that's what I like. I don't really like say a team that can say in the beginning, you know, before the season starts or before they lose or win a game, you know, championship is, is where we want to go. Then when you lose four or five in a row, then it's like, I don't know, panic mode or whatever the case may be. It's it's a habit, and that's what is expected here, and I, and I like that. You know, I, I like guys that believe that when you look around that locker room, everybody, if you would, would jump in the foxhole and is willing to play and do for each other for the, the common goal, which is to win a championship or to make it as far as possible. So that's what I like about it. And, you know, I've been there, I've gotten a taste of it, and I want more. And that's why I'm excited about that opportunity because I come to a team where that is the mentality and it can happen regardless of being first in, in the West or last in the West. It can still happen if we, you know, there again if we believe. I like the jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which one? The purple one? The orange one? Yeah.
the orange one. No, obviously, uh, there's, there's not a thing. There's not a thing what I like about the team. Uh, I was drafted here. I was drafted here in 2005 with 57 number. And what time? Uh, I don't know. It was late. It was late in 2005. And there's another date. Uh, two years ago. After three years ago, I, I was playing in playoffs, re replacing another foil. Uh, next year, I started as a backup. I played for two games. Then I had a stretch of 30 games where I didn't play at all. All of a sudden, I'm coming here, uh, playing against Phoenix. Dwight Howard, fourth quarter. He's getting hit by Robin Lopez. He's going to the locker room in the fourth quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter. Coach is telling me, March, you got to get in. Gotta play. I was hoping I'm not gonna I'm not gonna die over there because my condition wasn't good that time. <laughs> <laughs> I ran for ten minutes. I remember the numbers. I had ten points, five rebounds, two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> from that point, from that point, everything came back. I stopped playing. It was a turning point. So uh, you used to have two Polish guys. Uh, Matthew Lampy and Cesar Trubinsky. Um, I got friends here already, so uh, I mean, that's the right city for me. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Trust me. The, the good thing about it, if you guys want to see the tape, go to the NBA. They see have the DVD of that game. So. <laughs> the the Christmas is coming. Instead of him saying everything, he the DVD. <laughs> What do you know about Robin Lopez, and how do you do? You see this as a competition for the starting position, or how are you looking at that? Of course, it is competition. I mean, he's a young guy uh, who can bring a lot to the table. You know, he's he's big, uh, skilled. Um, I know there's a second Lopez who's really good. Uh, you know, Robin. Uh, he has he has you know a big opportunity right now. He's a starting big man and. He still got a lot to learn, just like me. But uh, I'm 100% I'm sure there's a bigger chance I'm going to play here than I'm going to play in uh, Orlando. So uh, obviously, uh, we like like there was one question before. We can work together. You know, we can we can play together at the same time. Uh, we'll see what Coach's going to do. So, I'm looking forward. Anyone else? Thank you.